But I'm actually here more to talk about what it means to be a CIP student. Because we're about halfway through the semester now. Some of you have got midterms approaching. I don't know, some of you have probably already had your first tests. And you're probably wondering, well, what am I doing here? What can I accomplish? And, some, and most of you are returning students. And that's really important. Because the important thing to remember, we like to talk about what can we do new? How can we make progress? How can we move forward? And people like to throw that phrase around. They like to talk about moving forward. Because the truth is, people with learning differences, people on the autism spectrum, we don't like to move. Um, talk about like Newton's first law. An object at rest stays at rest. An object in motion is going to stay in motion until you've acted upon it by some sort of outside force. Sometimes that means somebody's got to wave your hands in your face. They've got to drag you from where you are. You might not be too happy about it. You might think your current situation is nice and comfortable. <clears throat> but really, that's what it comes down to. You've got to have that. You've got to be in motion. And really, we talk about being resistant to motion, but it's not so much that. It's resistance to change. We talk about moving and the difference between speed and velocity in physics. Velocity is something, it's speed and direction. And that's the part that people don't like. They like to keep moving and go on autopilot and just say, oh, well, I'm kind of coasting by in my classes. I'm tuning out half the time. Maybe that's OK. Maybe I can do that. Maybe I'll struggle a little bit at the test. But it's OK. People will catch me. Now, that's not good. We have to accelerate. We have to change the direction. We have to be willing to look at things from a different perspective. <clears throat> Because otherwise, if you just keep going through the world on autopilot without looking where you're going, next thing you're, you know, you're going to end up crashing into a mountain or something. I mean, nobody wants that. <laughs> I hope not. Anyway. <laughs> but you, the other thing you talk about once you're moving, it's really hard to stop. Because see, you, the force of an object, how much power it's got, is equal to how big it is and how fast its speed is changing. So if you've got something that you're really invested in and that you're really stuck on, then maybe you don't want to move from it. I really, really like math. I like it a lot. To the point where I, am will I was willing for a time to run myself into a brick wall over and over and over again <coughs> to get a little piece of paper that said I could do some math. Now here, this isn't what I thought I'd be doing. I thought I'd be in grad school right now. I'm not. But the point of it is, sometimes you have to be willing to make that change. I'm <clears throat> sometimes you have to understand that in order to get what you want, sometimes you have to do something that you don't think you would want. <clears throat> because in life, the shortest distance between two points isn't always a straight line. And you don't know where you're going until you get there. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>